Hello team and welcome to today's video for PowerPoint where I'm going to be teaching you about the morph transition using this beginner example. Using just these two slides, you'll see that in slideshow mode, the presentation transitions from this slide into this slide you see here. Let's jump in and see how it works. First, let's cover exactly what the morph transition is doing. You'll see I have one slide here with one box of text. And what I want to do is duplicate the slide using Control plus D on the keyboard. And then on the second slide, I'll make this box taller, but also a bit thinner. Now, if I go to the Transitions tab and select Morph, and I can go into Slideshow mode, go to the next slide, and you'll see that transition. So basically what PowerPoint is doing is taking elements from your initial slide that you duplicated and morphing them to adjust to their new positions or sizes. So now let's build out the cool morph transition we showed at the beginning. On the Insert tab, select Video and insert the video you want in the slide. With that video inserted, select it and go to Playback and select the option when clicked on. Now insert a rectangle over the entire slide. Next, you want to insert a text box that goes across the middle. Enter your text and make sure to choose a font that has large characters like this one here. Now enlarge the font. Your next step is to click on the white box behind your text and then while holding down control, select the text box. Go to Shape Format and under Merge Shapes, select Subtract. Click on the slide and press Ctrl plus D on the keyboard to duplicate it, and then zoom out in the presentation. Click on the box with text and you're going to increase the size of this box and you're going to need to increase it quite a bit. Ensure that your slide with the video can be seen behind the text you've enlarged. Now click on the video, head to Playback, and choose the option Automatic. From here, we can head back to slide one and insert text off to the left so that initially it is outside of view. But on slide two, we want to insert the text on the slide itself. And remember, the morph transition will move it over. So now with slide two selected, you can go to transitions and select morph. If I head into presentation, you'll see when I click slide two, we get that awesome morph transition. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future tips.